and welcome to Thrive Thursday. Each week I share with you recipes you can make using your Thrive Life freeze-dried foods. And my whole saying is there's no excuse to live off beans and rice with your food storage when you can make amazing meals like these. Um, most of the recipes I share on Thursdays, I try to do uh, all, if not most, shelf-stable ingredients. So these are can be some great recipes to have in your food storage repertoire, and uh, but try and start making some now and enjoy an experiment. Today, I'm going to be making, I'm, I'm kind of doubling up. So once a month, my husband and I, we host a couple's game night, and there's always a theme with the food. And so tonight our, our is our couple's game night, and our theme is one pan things, recipes, basically things that you can make in like one cookie sheet, one sheet pan, right? So I'm going to be making some lemon and fruit blondies. So instead of a brownie, they're a blondie, meaning no cocoa. Um, but they're, so the base is all going to be lemon flavored, but we're going to do four different berries with them. So I'm going to use the Thrive Life raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries mixed with the lemon. And we're going to separate them into four sections and then cook it all together. So we'll have four different types of a uh, fruit and lemon blondie. So if you just want one of these, you can you can just, just pick one of the fruits and do the whole tray of all that one fruit. But because our thing is tonight, we wanted multiples in the tray. So um, you get kind of four recipes, but it's fun because it shows how versatile some of these recipes are. All you have to do is swap out one or two ingredients and you have this whole other recipe that's amazing as well. Um, they're very easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt the camera down now. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our Thrive Thursday videos. You can go back and see a bunch of them on our playlist. And um, always below the video, there is a link to a printable version of the recipe on my blog, as well as a link to my Thrive Life website where you can purchase the freeze-dried foods or sign up to become a consultant and get a little bit of a kickback on your own purchases. So that's always a great bonus. All right, without further ado, let's tilt this down and show you how fun and easy these lemon fruit blondies are. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some butter melting. So because this is a big cookie sheet, it's actually quite a big recipe. You can cut this in half or even in quarters and do it like an eight by eight pan if you're just doing it for a few of you. But this is for a party, so we're gonna do it in a cookie sheet. So while your butter is melting, crack four eggs and a little tip, if you get any shell in there, it's always easier to get the shell out with the shell that you've already opened. Kind of a fun little trick there, unless it's the first egg and it was just easier for me to grab with my finger. But um, that's kind of one trick instead of trying to pinch it and stuff, if you just use the shell, it usually, there you go and get it out pretty easily. So we got four eggs in here and I'm just gonna add all my ingredients in and then we'll mix it together. So I don't worry about mixing it along the way. Three cups of sugar and then we're gonna add eight and a half, or yeah, eight and a half cups of flour. And again, like I said, I'm just pouring them all in. This, if you have a KitchenAid or a Bosch mixer or something, you can have it mixing while you're adding these in. I usually do, but I just on my camera over in that area of my kitchen. So. Um, I'm just gonna mix it by hand today, So, but you can absolutely use a mixer. This dough is going to form up kind of like a sugar cookie dough, is the consistency and thickness. So it is, isn't something you probably want a hand mixer for because it's such a thick, dense dough. Um, I would mix it by hand or use a big mixer. So I'm going to be using 12 packets of these true lemon packets. So it's just lemon juice essentially. Now because I'm using the powder, I'm also going to add one cup of water. But you can use just regular lemon juice if you want. This would just be one cup of lemon juice. But I love these true lemon packets because they're shelf stable. They are the perfect addition to your food storage. It takes a little bit of a minute just to open them all up and shake the powder into my measuring cup. I mean, I could have dumped that powder right in the bowl, but I wanted to mix it with the water. So that's just 12 of those le true lemon packets. And then I'm gonna add, fill the measuring cup with water, so one cup of water. 
and go ahead and add that into the bowl. And um, the cool thing is that really makes everything here shelf stable. Even the butter, you could use the Thrive Life uh, butter powder for this if you wanted. So then we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of baking powder. And that's gonna be our our raising ingredients when you're baking, usually you're, you're gonna need um, the salt and baking soda or baking powder for this recipe, it's baking powder. And then now we're gonna add our melted butter. You just wanna be careful that when you do add your hot melted butter, you don't wanna pour it right over your eggs or essentially it'll cook your eggs, right? So that's why I, I usually do the eggs while the butter's melting and then add the other ingredients and then the butter last so that I mix it all in. This is a little bit of a workout, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was, you're just mixing it. And I know it looks dry and at first you're like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but it does. It does all mix in and eventually it gets easier to just mix it by hand so that's what I do um, and it's just a thick like sugar cookie dough basically is what it looks like and as you can tell here so once you get it all mixed together because what I'm doing is the four different fruits I'm gonna divide the dough into four sections so you want to make sure that your dough is is fairly equal or as, as equal as possible that's why I pushed it down so that we don't have any of the sides super higher than the others like they were and then just eyeball it and kind of score it with your hand there. You got four equal sections and then we're going to do a different type of fruit in each section. So just cut out one quarter of the one section there, put it in a separate bowl and we're just going to set the rest aside. And now that we have this separate bowl, we're going to add our freeze dried fruit to it. So for this first one, I'll do strawberries. Now there's no rhyme or reason in the amount that you use. Um, if you like a lot, put a lot. If you like a little, put a little. I used about roughly one cup of freeze dried fruit for each of these sections. Um, and this is just for the blondie part of the brownie. We'll use a little bit more of the freeze dried fruit later for the glaze. But uh, once you get it in, you're just gonna mix it in, mix it by hand. Like it's just, I mean it is, it's very much like a sugar cookie dough. So pretty easy, it's not real sticky at this point or anything, it's easy to work with, easy to handle. You just wanna mix it until you know that all those freeze dried strawberries are fully incorporated. Don't worry about rehydrating these freeze dried fruits because they will actually rehydrate in the, the blondie batter while they cook. So they're not gonna be crunchy or anything. They're, they're gonna be amazing. So don't, don't worry about rehydrating them first. Get your cookie sheet. You wanna be sure to grease it. So I, I sprayed some Pam spray on this one. And then we're just gonna press, because I'm doing the four flavors, I'm gonna press this into one quarter of the sheet. Um, if you were doing all the cookie sheet one fruit, that's fine. You just press it in the whole pan. But for today's recipe, I'm doing four different flavors. So just try to kind of eyeball the, and you, I mean, it's pretty forgiving, pretty adjustable as you're adding all the different flavors and, and the different combinations. It's, the dough's pretty easy. It's not the end of the world if they mix a little bit, right? That's part of the fun. They get one, one blondie that has two flavors. So now that we got that one, we're just gonna set it aside while we make our others. So at this point, um, that's pretty much the process. So we just get another quarter and put it in the bowl, add our freeze dried fruit and mix it and press it in the pan. So this time I'm gonna do blueberries. Um, the blueberries, I, again, just a cup of blueberries. They're smaller, so they do tend to look like there's more, but there's not. Um, and again, and these are kind of funny when I was mixing them, they kind of feel like Cocoa Puffs is what it reminded me of. They're just these little balls, but they will rehydrate when you cook them in. So we'll speed this up a little bit because it's pretty much the same process over and over. And um, that way, you know, you don't have to watch this forever. But basically, that's the, it's the same thing. So then the next section here, we're going to just pull out another quarter put it in our bowl, and for this one, I'm gonna add the freeze-dried raspberries. If you have not tried the Thrive Life freeze-dried fruits, oh my gosh, you should try them. You can eat them dry, like even in a trail mix, they're so good, and they're they're healthy, they're just freeze-dried fruit. And um, the raspberries specifically, they are super tart, like, like a, a fruity raspberry tart, not a, a bad tart, but just a, a raspberry tart. Um, they're really, really good. I, I like them in cereal and even with yogurt and stuff. 
All right, we got our raspberry section. And now for the last section, just get your last little bit of dough. And for this one, we're gonna add the Thrive Life freeze-dried blackberries. And um, and these the blackberries are a little bit larger, but they will break down as you kind of mix them in. Because remember, when they're dry, they're a little brittle. And so you could essentially, which we'll do here in a minute for the glaze, you can break down these freeze-dried foods into powders really easy. They're very dry and brittle. But once they get rehydrated, they soften right up. And they're so good. Um, so get our last section in and now we have all four sections we're going we're ready to put this in the oven so we're gonna put it in the oven for three three hundred and fifty degrees and we're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes now you do want to watch it to make sure it doesn't overcook just lightly golden on top now once it's pulled out as it's cooling off we're gonna make our glazes this is optional but definitely I recommend doing it it, it really elevates this these brownies really makes them 10 times better um, so I just use my little food chopper and get about a cup of the freeze-dried fruits we'll start with the strawberries here and just do a cup and you're gonna blend them up just like I said because they're pretty dry they blend into a powder fairly easy it doesn't take a lot of effort if you want chunks I mean you don't have to blend it super fine but for this glaze that's kind of what you want you want it a really fine you want the flavor of the fresh berry but you don't necessarily want the chunks of the fresh berry. And um, to this, I'm also going to add another packet of the true lemon. Now, we have the, the lemon and the berry in the blondie crust, and so we're just gonna add a little bit of true lemon to the glaze, it's gonna kinda just add that extra pop. The lemon really enhances some of these berry flavors. It's really cool and really interesting. And then we're gonna add about half a cup of powdered sugar. Now, there's, again, this is something, there's no rhyme or reason to it. If you want a thicker glaze or a sweeter glaze, add more powdered sugar and less water. If you don't like it as sweet, add less powdered sugar. Um, it's really just something to personal preference that you, you add as far as the amounts of sugar. And the water is just gonna be for your thickness of the glaze. The more water you add, the thinner the glaze will be. So I'm only going to add about mm, one to two tablespoons of water. And you'll see that doesn't look like a whole lot of water, but look how fast that mixes up. That was about the perfect amount for this glaze. So we've got our strawberries, our powdered sugar, our true lemon, and a little bit of water, just enough to, to get it all blending together. And this little, this little chopper, I don't know why all of a sudden the lid was so hard to get off. I was like, I just put this lid on. What is wrong? I knew I put it on right. There we go. And um, so now just spread your glaze over the, the the correlating fruit part of your blondie. Again, if you're doing all the same flavor, you would just make a bigger batch of this glaze and put it over the whole thing. Or you, at this point, you could mix and match. You could do like a raspberry blondie with a strawberry glaze or something like that. If I mean, just get creative. Do whatever your family likes, whatever sounds good to you. That's part of the fun for this. Um, we had fun doing the four different flavors on one for our party, and it was great because it was there was something for everybody, and there was a little few different flavors. It's like having four different treats. So. That's the process for the glaze. So I'm gonna speed this up really quick because now you've seen me do it. There's, It's not really hard and we don't need to watch me struggle with opening and closing the, the little food processor. Um, because I was using it for the same stuff, I just was rinsing out the, the little food processor and the blade. I didn't, you don't have to worry about fully clean cleaning it every time because it's you're, you're doing the same, you're just using it for the similar things that are all in the same bar, right? So just I just rinsed it out. I didn't even worry about rinsing off the lid, but it just rinsed it out enough that you didn't get the flavors mixed. So you see that last one was super liquidy. I added a little bit more water. So the blackberry one, it was pretty liquidy. And there you go. There's a the final product. And there we have it. Super, super easy. Um, So this is kind of a fun little experiment. Like I said, you could do all one of one specific flavor so it's flavor so if you just wanted strawberry lemon blueberry lemon raspberry lemon blackberry lemon whichever for fun for our party tonight i did all four and so it actually turned out really cute we got lots of variety and look at these okay so i know they're not as pretty to look at but uh we're gonna try them 
and see what we think. So it's kind of, and it, you know, I was worried that it would raise and overflow the, the pan, but it didn't. So, mmm. Okay, that's a blueberry lemon. That glaze, woo! You get that lemon? Okay. Really good, and they're still kind of warm, warm which is great. You don't want to overcook these, because they'll dry out. That's really good. Okay, and you can definitely taste the blueberry. So let me, I'm curious what the other flavors. Let's see, this one is the raspberry. Oh yeah, because you look at all those seeds. So you could um, strain this one if you don't want all the seeds. Woo, that's some good, strong raspberry flavor in that one. This one's kind of tart. Um, if you like, like, it's like raspberry tart. If you like tart raspberries, if you don't like tart raspberries, you could add a little bit more powdered sugar to the glaze. Kind of helps balance the sweetness. But here's the thing. I definitely would do the glaze. It's kind of an optional thing, but it does add a pop of color. And it also takes that flavor, like, through the roof. It really... Because just the, the brownie part uh, or the blondie part by itself, it's very mild with a fruity flavor. So if you don't like strong flavors, just do that. But the glaze on top, it's not super sweet. You definitely have that kick of the fruit. So let's try the blackberry. Now this one, the glaze, I added a lot of water. So you can see it kind of seeped down into the, the blondie because it was pretty liquid. Okay. So the berry in that one, the flavor isn't as strong. You can still taste it, but so far the raspberry was the strongest, like, here's raspberry. Um, oh, excuse me. Still good though. Still really good. Um, but just having a side-by-side -side comparison, so far the raspberry was the strongest, most potent in flavor. And this strawberry one is, I got a big old chunk of it. Um, let me see if I can hold it to get a piece. Mm hmm You can definitely, it's so cool because it's all the same, but it's all different. You can definitely taste that strawberry. You can, you know, the only one I didn't taste a lot of the lemon was the blackberry. Interesting enough. But you can taste the lemon in all of them because they all have the same amount of lemon, right? Um, it's just interesting how the other fruits bring out the lemon or, or overpower it. Um, they are all amazing. I'm not a big berry fan. I mean, I love strawberries the and, and blueberries are okay. Raspberry, blackberries, I'm not a huge fan. I, they're okay. But this is definitely something really good, all of them. Um, like I would make it and serve it at a party or something like that. Um, I got all over my fingers now, but it's a very like springy, great, little bar. So definitely try this out. Fairly easy. All the green, all the ingredients here were shelf stable. So this is a great one for your food storage. Try it out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And so you can catch our Thursday, Thrive Thursday recipes. And I will see you next week. Um, we should be at home any minute. Yeah, I do taste a little bit of the strawberry taste on that one. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty strong. I taste it. You can taste it, huh? On that raspberry? That one's a lot of flavor, doesn't it? This one does. That's the blackberry. You like that one? I thought this was blackberry. Mm, this is raspberry, that's blueberry. Okay, Bella's the last one she's had. A taste of it all. Let's see. There's the raspberry, and then you can tell us what your favorite one is. You can taste the flavor? Which one's your favorite, Bella? No, I think the strawberry. The strawberry?